trying to squeeze in some time that way. And he's not a doctor, actually. Ah, no, no. <laughs> You're going to be a doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Engineer. Yeah. wanting to see uh, the delegation but I was I kept this suspense on even for my own officers and I'll tell you why am I attached to Kuwait uh, you may not uh, totally recognize our items but the lower most row carries the Kuwait liberation matter I was a captain and uh, I visited Kuwait and I saw Kuwait in beautiful shape and sometime down the line, uh, I saw Kuwait devastated by aggression of Iraq. And I was so lucky that uh, I was part of the operations as an Air Force officer. So Kuwait stays very close to my heart. Uh, other than that, when I became the Air Chief, it's about two and a half years ago, uh, I visited a lot of Middle Eastern countries. And my belief is that we have to stand together all the Muslim countries and uh, we must support each other, we must encourage each other and that is what my spirit was and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was very, very kind on me. Um, uh, we are a country which uh, uh, has a lot of challenges like many other countries but of course Middle East is also a lot of challenges but our brotherhood uh, became so good that today in the Yemen operation, whatever, uh, our C-130 aeroplanes are flying and giving the targeting information to our Saudi and the UAE brothers and of course the Jordanian and others. Uh, we built Super Mashak aircraft, which is a training aircraft, which is with a lot of uh, Middle Eastern countries. Uh, what I say is that our, uh, if we sell even 100 aeroplanes, my salary does not get affected because we are the military people. It's only the relationship that we get. And why I'm talking about this point is, I want to bring another person into the whole thing, and that's General Abdullah al -Fudayl. Abdullah is the commander of the uh, Kuwaiti Air Force. He's not a general for me. He's not even a friend for me. He's my brother. He's not like brother. He's a brother. And uh, when I met him, he's self, uh, when you meet him, he's a man who's visionary leadership. And um, I was in Kuwait, uh, and the temperatures were 52, 52 degrees centigrade. And me and him together were going uh, in Kuwait on a base where there were very old buildings and where we decided to make the academy. And your defense minister was very kind. He said, Pakistan will make this academy for us. And Pakistan will. And we are very happy. And uh, not very lately. And of course, when I met him, he sent me the officers here for flying drills. Uh, and when the officers came here, I told Abdullah, so there he is, Abdullah. Uh, these officers, when you send them to me three years down the line from the school boys, like one of the boys here, I will convert them to pilots to fire the f I fulfilled my promise, Alhamdulillah, Allah was kind. And just about 10 days ago, Abdullah Fadeli was here with his team. Uh, we had 12 of Kuwaiti pilots graduate, and my promise was fulfilled. And he was here as the chief guest of the graduation ceremony, and Abdullah was all over Pakistan and it was on the television and everywhere and we saw that unity and when I showed Abdullah that that's how we trained the people he said I have to train a lot of pilots and the way that you people have trained uh, I don't know to name the countries that he said but he said a lot of western countries have not, not trained our pilots so then of course he knows about my attachment with Kuwait and I said I will do it for any country but of course Kuwait is very important for me and will do it so that is how the linkage is and I don't miss any delegation coming 
uh, from Kuwait. And I'm very uh, honored, uh, Dr. Jamal said that you accepted the invitation and you were here. And it is, in fact, our pleasure and honor uh, that you're being here. Uh, another motivating factor was that there's a huge doctor community in uh, Kuwait. And they are so much in love with you that they were promoting me when this whole thing was coming and they said that you really need to have uh, uh, this visionary man who can, uh, who looks at Kuwait in the uh, future. I am not a doctor, so I don't uh, understand this at all, but I'm a passionate man as far as education is concerned. So within this time, we have made one medical college of the Air Force, which is running our third year, and we have also started a medical college on a lady's name, Ruth Wau. Ruth Wau was uh, a German lady who came uh, 38 years before here and she was treating uh, our patients that she died very recently. So there's a medical college which will come up in Karachi. So now I understand a bit of this. And if ever there is, that we can assist or help anything, and Kuwait is or actually something very close to our heart. But, uh, Honestly, it is the recognition of your work. I know the people in Kuwait, they are peace loving and they really want to uh, contribute uh, very much. And again, one very nice thing which happened was uh, that, uh, again, it's a relation between me, Abdullah, and uh, General Khalid, who's the legal chief. Uh, our people retire very early, so we decided that all the people who retire from here, they go and serve the Kuwaiti Air Force today. Alhamdulillah. 1,050 people of our uh, technicians, they're working with Abdullah. And Abdullah was so happy, he said that you tell them anything and everything is done. Another 500 are going. Uh, it is in this perspective, sir, that I requested you and your uh, delegation. And despite you such a busy routine, I actually wanted you to uh, write in aeroplanes and go out to northern areas, look at the K2, look at the Nanga Baba, those he, he, um, highest, uh, or the highest mountains in the world. But I know your team is uh, so busy. So we are honored uh, that you accepted the invitation. And we are very, very glad to have you with us. Thank you. Bismillah Rahim, Your Excellency, uh, Marshal, uh, Mishir uh, Air Marshal, uh, Mr. Suhail, uh, Delegation, uh, His Excellency, Ambassador of Kuwait, Mr. Nasa uh, Mudairi. Really, uh, on behalf of my delegation, I'm honored for your invitation for the lunch and you is insisting about that. That's really very, was very touching and nice from you. And uh, really when I met you just a few minutes, I felt like you're my brother, not a friend really. Uh, that's very kind of you. And uh, from our point, like our relationship with Pakistan is long time, it's just before, it's not only during the invasion of Kuwait from Iraq, it was also before that. And we really thank you very much for, uh, on behalf of Kuwait, thank Pakistan for their support before and after and our relationship together. And we got off also for the IMRU today and the meeting that was really the best organization we have, really from the Ministry of Health of Pakistan, especially from uh, Ms. Sarah, the minister. And really we touched everything about all the fields we will discuss about, especially about uh, the polio disease, polio, I mean, polio disease and uh, other diseases that you eradicate almost, which is good. Like in Kuwait, we have that eradication from 68, so it's about 31 years ago. And hepatitis also, yeah, you really, that was also against hepatitis from your side. And really, we are pleased and we are honored that for your invitation. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Yeah, and we are trying to squeeze in some time that way. I, it's such a great pleasure.
And he's not a doctor actually. Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be a doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Engineer. <laughs> But I must, I kept this suspense on even for my own officers and I'll tell you why am I attached to Kuwait. Uh, you may not uh, totally recognize our medals, but the Lord most go carries the Kuwait Liberation Medal. Yeah. I was a captain and uh, I visited Kuwait and I saw Kuwait in beautiful shape. And Sometime down the line, uh, I saw Kuwait devastated by aggression of Iraq. And I was so lucky that uh, I was part of the operations as an Air Force officer. So Kuwait stays very close to my heart. Uh, other than that, when I became the Air Chief, it's about two and a half years ago, uh, I visited a lot of Middle Eastern countries. And my belief is that we have to stand together all the Muslim countries and uh, we must support each other, we must encourage each other and that is what my spirit was and plus one and one was very, very kind on me. Um, uh, we are a country which uh, uh, has a lot of challenges like many other countries but of course Middle East is also a lot of challenges but our brotherhood uh, became so good that today in the Yemen operation, whatever, uh, our Wavering support to the government of Kuwait during the Iraq invasion and immediately dispatched over 11,000 troops as a gesture of solidarity and sincere friendship. After the withdrawal of the Iraqi forces, Pakistani soldiers played an important role in demining operations in the country. Reciprocally, the government of Kuwait has also been in the forefront whenever Pakistan needed an immediate assistance. It was among the first countries to extend assistance of US $100 million for victims of the devastating earthquake in Pakistan in October 2005. Kuwait Red Crescent Society also built two state-of-the-art hospitals to provide best possible healthcare facilities to the affected people of these areas. These ties are not only limited to the realm of cultural and infrastructural development, but also towards defense cooperation. Pakistan and Kuwait have been steadfast military allies and these relations have further matured and deepened manifold with the passage of time. The Defence Forces of Pakistan and Kuwait share impressive cordial relations, but the exemplary professional ties between the two air forces are a matter of pride for both countries. This cooperation spans over decades and each has been benefiting from these experiences through mutual deployments and postings. Pakistan Air Force has been a constant help and support to Kuwait Air Force in the fields of training and research and development. Consequently, a large number of personnel from Kuwait Air Force have been trained at various institutions of Pakistan Air Force, including PAF Academy Asghar Khan, college and flying instructors school etc similarly a large number of PAF personnel have also been serving in Kuwait Air Force on deputation 
Besides training and mutual postings, high-level delegation visits are frequently conducted between the two air forces. These visits not only pave the way for further expansion of mutual cooperation, but also promote everlasting friendship between the people of both the countries. Recently, a Kuwait Air Force delegation headed by Major General Abdullah Yaqub Al Fordari visited Pakistan and held bilateral meetings with senior leadership of Pakistan Air Force. He also visited the newly established Air Power Center of Excellence and participated in the ongoing exercise by flying a training mission in Pakistan Air Force's F-16 aircraft alongside the Air Chief of the PAF. Pakistani nation and especially PAF can vouch for the enhancement of cordial relations between the two brotherly countries and sincerely pray that the bond of love grows from strength to strength. Thank you very much. I have a sincere feeling for you. What is that? Thank you. Once again, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for the invitation. What a great. I'm honored. Thank you. I'm honored. Thank you.